Recent extreme weather events and rising seas mean protecting our coasts is more important than ever. In this follow-up review, we assessed if the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning, or DELP, effectively responded to our 2018 audit protecting Victoria's coastal assets. We found that while DELP has made progress since 2018, it still has work to do on some of our recommendations. Coastal protection assets are structures, such as sea walls, that protect our coasts from hazards like inundation and erosion. DELP helps make sure this infrastructure is managed and maintained. It oversees over 1,500 assets across Victoria and manages about 500 of them directly. The rest are managed by local councils, committees and other bodies with DELP support and oversight. We followed up with DELP because our 2018 audit found it wasn't looking after this infrastructure well enough. Because DELP and other coastal managers didn't clearly understand the condition assets were in, they often fixed assets when they broke instead of maintaining them. This approach was expensive and potentially risky for our coasts. Four years later, DELP has improved the way it collects data about these structures and analyzes the hazards they face. It now knows the number, value and condition of coastal assets. This information will help DELP direct its money and attention to the most important and at-risk assets. DELP now has a much better asset management plan to monitor and maintain assets. But a lot of them are in poor condition and DELP has a backlog of maintenance to work through so the fix-on-fail approach may still be occurring. DELP has more work to do to strengthen its oversight and support for other coastal managers. It also hasn't established a clear way to check how well coastal managers are looking after assets and if they need more help. To find out more or read our full report, please go to audit.vic.gov.au.